everyone, this is Chaitali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe, reporting live from Farnborough Air Show 2022. Day 4 and we begin my series of interviews with Incora. Incora, we have with us Mark Ness, who is a commercial director responsibly especially for India. Now why we are in Incora? Because Incora recently opened up a facility in Bangalore and we are here to know more about that from him. Welcome. Mark, and a very good morning and day four. Thank you so much for your time. No, oh, thank you so much for uh, for giving me the time to uh, to discuss what we're what we're doing and what our plans are in, in India. Um, so you know, those of you that don't know, Encora and Cora were merged. Uh, with, was the product of the merge of, of Patanair and Wesco back in uh, March uh, 2020. So we are uh, a leading supply chain provider for the aerospace and defence industry. Um, we are global, uh, headquartered in the US, with strong uh, UK and European presence. It's covering both aerospace hardware, chemicals and added value services. We don't actually manufacture anything ourselves, but we work with leading suppliers in both these commodities and, and the leading aerospace and defence customers in the world, uh, supplying um, these products and services to them to make their businesses run smoothly on a day-to-day -day basis. India for us has always been a, uh, a very exciting market. Uh, a number of our customers are there already and a considerable amount of them are expecting great growth with the aerospace market. A lot of them are making investments in, in India, particularly in, in, in Karnataka, but also in, uh, in, in Telangana and Hyderabad, uh, where they see air, Indian aerospace as, 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 a, as a growth for the world. There's many of these global uh, of our global customers that, that, that see India as the future of manufacturing, the OEMs and the tier ones, uh, and also there's a number of uh, uh, joint ventures where uh, defence is being uh, uh, manufactured as well. So you know you have the Tata Boeing's and the Tata Lockheed Martins of this world that are already there and, uh, and producing. So it's a it was almost a no-brainer for us in terms of, of, of where to go. And as I say, we're a global supply chain company. It's important for us to be where our customers are and to give them that support. We weren't properly on the ground in India. We had people on the ground in India. We had, we had a, 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 a presence there in terms of a, 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 a legal entity and company, but everything was being supplied from, from outside. So we took our time to find the right place uh, to, to, to put our first warehouse in India, and that, that warehouse is in the uh, the KIDB Aerospace Park at uh, Bangalore Airport. Uh, we chose that because that's a, an, an excellent location. Uh, Bangalore is obviously the, uh, traditionally the, the hub of aerospace within India and the um, amount of companies that are already in there, both suppliers and our uh, customers alike are, are there. So again, it was a fairly easy decision to, to put ourselves into, into that site. So Mark, I would like to know more about this facility in Bangalore. As you said, it's not a manufacturing unit, it's a supply chain management unit. Yeah. So what exactly are you going to do in that unit and in coming years in future, how you plan to expand it more and what okay. all is going to happen? Yeah, um, so it's a 17,000 square foot uh, warehouse that, that, that we've taken the lease on and we're in the process of, of, of fitting that out with a view to commencing operations in, in January 2023. So it, it will serve two functions uh, to, to, to begin with. One, it will be our uh, India head office. So the existing office facilities that we have in, in Whitefield will, will transfer it out to there. Uh, and then we will be offering hardware services to, to begin with in, in January. So what that will uh, manifest itself is, is that we will uh, be able to store hardware products in country for, for customers which is absolutely something customers have been telling us that they want. You know, currently we supply it from, from, from US or, or UK, uh, and, and I overwhelming responses. I think uh, like 10, more than 10 of my customers in India all said, we'd be delighted if we could have the product in country. So we'll, we'll offer that. And the actual warehouse itself will be able to offer uh, bonded. So we will be able to support any, any of the uh, EOU 
um, requirements that, that, that um, or duty deferment that our, our customers have, uh, and we also operate as a, a DTA, so a domestic tariff. So we'll, we will be able to offer both. We will also be offering services to our uh, many uh, suppliers that we are having in India. So we've got a growing portfolio of suppliers supporting Make in India. Uh, we already have a significant number of suppliers that we're that they're producing in India, and then we're selling to the world. So we're we have these we've uh, got these accreditations for these manufacturers. Some of them in Karnataka, some of them in Telangana, uh, and and also up in uh, Mumbai, where. You know, we're working with these guys and we're selling their products out to uh, our customers in the in, in UK and uh, US and France. So, and, and as a future stage, we will also uh, be offering uh, chemical services from the, the warehouse as well. So, you are going to create a win-win situation both for Infora as well as the Indian uh, diaspora and the Indian industry out there. Oh, absolutely. I think I think um, as I said, when I um, when I pitched the idea of us of us properly setting up in town, then then I, all, all I got was 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 when when can you start? You know, uh, uh, you know, we we've been talking about it for some time. Obviously, unfortunately, the last few years have been difficult, and and, and really put our plans on on hold for a while. Um, some of our longer term customers know that, that this is something we've been talking about for for quite quite some years so I'm absolutely delighted that it's, that it's finally coming to pass this has been an absolute um, uh, pet project of mine because you know I, I, I recognize that growth in India and, and supporting our customers with their growth and supporting our suppliers with their growth is only going to come with 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 this warehouse and we've always prided ourselves in, in, in Cora as as being where our customers are and giving them that support locally so yeah, we're starting with Bangalore now. I don't see any reason why um, Telangana would be next. I mean, Hyderabad obviously is, is, is you know that's also growing up. It is growing, and we have customers there that that, that we work closely with, uh, and and so you know I, I, I don't see any reason why um, why why Bangalore would be the only uh, warehouse that we have in the next few years. Just again to to support our customers locally. Right now, do you, do you have penetrated to the Indian market? How easy or how difficult it was? Because of course the rules with Admanirbhar Bharat, yeah. things have been a little tricky. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, there is, there's always, um, and, and you know, I've, I've, I've been, I've been tra traveling to India for, for, for almost 30 years, and, and, and doing work there for, for 15. Um, what I definitely have seen is a, a vast improvement in the ease of doing business in India. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Um, when we started setting up the company um, just over five years ago, during the, the time that we were setting up, things, things changed and made it an awful lot easier to, to set the incorporation up. Um, and, you know, it, it, there was a perception amongst, particularly amongst people that have never done business in India. You know, it's always the thing is that, 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 that the, the people that thought worst of doing business in India were the people that have never actually tried. It was just all of the perception. Now, some of that was based on facts, because it's not always easy, but it is definitely easier than, than it used to be. Uh, there, there is absolutely no doubt about that. And, um, and we, we actually, um, when, when, we, when we commenced, so again, uh, four or five years ago, when we were setting up, um, we, we took the benefit of the Access India program which was, uh, you know, fund, jointly funded by the um, by the by the Indian government and and, uh, and supported by the UK India Business Council here in the UK, um, and that that program was was an excellent way of of getting um, the support that was needed from people that had either done incorporated in India already and, and were or operating within the country, uh, but also various Indian government agencies that were keen to have businesses come and, and set up there and, and you know, make, make it easier for them to do it. And, and, and that, was, that was certainly a very, uh, a very helpful program that, that, that we went through at the time. There, there are some things that are, 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 are more complex. Um, you know, we, 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 um, we're going through a process at the moment of uh, SVP, the uh, Special Valuation Branch, which for me seems to be a little more 
complicated than it ought to be in terms of, of, of importing goods. I understand the background of it and why, you know, things like transfer pricing are important to avoid, you know, make, making sure you're paying the right duties and paying the right taxes in the right countries and things. But things like that seem to take a lot longer than, than they ought to. Um, that's, that's, that's what I'll say on that. But overall, I, I definitely see an improvement in, in doing business over, doing the, business. over the years. That's great. That's nice to hear. I'm sure people will be more encouraged, foreign companies hmm. will be more encouraged to do business now after here in India. What's about the com competition that you are going to face in India? Well, yes. I mean, there is competition there already. Um, and also the fact that, that aerospace in India is a growing market that everybody else wants a piece of. So our competitors in India and our competitors so it's, it's globally. It's a very close will, niche market. Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, and, and I, I, I think we just do what we always do, which is that, that we use our um, our global reach and our, um, our, our our work with our suppliers uh, to get to get the best uh, pricing and service that we can then pass on to our customers, and and just by doing a good job of of that. Then, then hopefully that'll be enough to uh, fend off our, our competition. Um, and, and similarly, as I say, I don't, I don't think that uh, many of our competitors are doing as much with suppliers within India. As I say, most all, all of the supply from India at the moment, where we're, 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 we're working with these manufacturers, has been sold outside of India. But our next step is very much to 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 improve that kind of domestic sourcing. And to, and to get these products sold to the customers within India. And I think we definitely have a, an advantage on that just because of how many supplier relationships we already have and how many supplier relationships we are, we're building. We have a team in India, based in India, that, that goes around, does audits on these suppliers and helps them with the accreditations and then goes back and continually audits them to make sure that they're, they're providing the, uh, the high levels of service. And, and to be fair, I mean, I'm, when I visit these manufacturers as well, I've been hugely impressed by the quality of these facilities. I mean, some of these, some of our suppliers are, you know, you walk in and you're in a world-class facility. And again, you know, that comes as a surprise to some people, who, particularly who have never been to India. Um, and, and but just to see the standards that, that these guys are operating to, and, and the, the, the investments they've made in the machinery is, is, is very encouraging. So I think all that as a package, plus the added value service that we offer, things like like kitting. Um, when we start offering the, the chemical service as well, we, we will be a true one-stop shop because we can offer hardware and chemicals as well. Not many of our, of our competitors can do that. Great. So finally, Mark, Fun Raya show. We are here, fourth day. Yes. How has been it till now, your, the response you have been getting from your fellow industry mates, from the defense sector, yeah. how has been it done? Yeah, it's hugely positive. I mean, I think there's a, a general feeling of, of uh, well, relief that we're all here. Yes, after um, yes, you know, the first, the fir first, first proper large show, yeah. uh, and, 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 and everybody's turned up, which is great. Um, there's a general buzz of of um, excitement of things returning to normal, of of, of um, demand increasing. Set against the backdrop of you know there, there is a lot of discussion about the market in terms of raw material supplies, the disruption being caused by but by the Russian conflict, etc., etc. Um, but in terms of when I've had the discussions about the India warehouse and, and what we're doing in India, that's been received hugely positively. So as positive, you know, positive to hear from the the industry as, as as it is in India when I talk to it. Great, thank you so much, Mark. It was a pleasure speaking to you this morning and giving all this time to us, especially when we wanted to know about your facility in Bangalore. We are very really excited to visit it sometime, actually. So. Hope you're you're you you will be very very welcome. We we we're, we're hoping to have a, an opening event in the uh, in the early part of uh, 2023, and you'll be most welcome to come along and uh, we enjoy the festivities. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.